Hello Capricorn, it's Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot. Welcome to your Tarot Time reading. I have to apologize that I am re-recording the audio for this reading. I did not set up my mic very well on the original take and the original audio is terrible. But it's an important reading, so I didn't want to scrap it. So here it is. I apologize in advance if my description in this audio doesn't match up completely with what you see on screen, but here we go. So here's the High Priestess, the Ace of Wands, the World, and the Wheel of Fortune. So generally we're seeing a lot of sort of new chapter, new cycles beginning, new roles beginning, and we'll get into the specifics for each card. So with the Wheel of Fortune, this is like a new season. I struggle with the Wheel of Fortune because it's kind of like a new cycle of luck, but I don't really believe in luck, you know, because we, we sort of make our own luck. As long as we go out there and uh, make the most of the opportunities that are available to us, we can kind of create our own luck. But there are times when there are just more opportunities or opportunities are more ripe for us. And this is a, this is a we're entering a new cycle when the season is more ripe with opportunities for you, or there are the opportunities in sort of the sector that you want them to be in. So you're going to notice a shift. It's gonna feel like a shift in season. It's gonna feel sort of like a shift to spring or maybe a shift to fall, whichever one is your favorite. And there will be more opportunities for you to go and grab and make the most of. Again, it's the sort of thing where you have to participate, where you have to meet the universe halfway, but you're going to notice sort of, generally speaking, like more green lights, so to speak. So now we have the High Priestess. And this is obviously a character who has a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of um, intuitive wisdom that this card speaks to. And there's also wisdom that is gained through a lifetime, through experience, through challenges, through living through, um, you know, difficult circumstances, through supporting loved ones, through challenging circumstances. And no matter your age, you don't have to be a crone. You may be uh, entering your crone phase, but this card suggests um, intuitive wisdom and um, experiential wisdom that is hard earned and a phase when you are going to be marrying those wisdoms, your intuitive wisdom, the wisdom of your own experience, and let's call it a westernized wisdom or conventional wisdom or book wisdom. And uh, it, this is kind of a mentorship phase for you where it more than it may have a, an element of mothering, but more to a community. So you may become sort of a, a teacher or a, a mentor of some kind, um, a group leader of some kind. You're sharing your knowledge, maybe um, becoming a doula or maybe even starting your own tarot channel or Reiki channel or going to get your final Reiki degree so you can become a teacher or pass on that knowledge um, or a yoga teacher or something of that nature where your own uh, innate gifts, intuitive gifts and wisdom experience is used to benefit your community, used to help other people evolve and grow. And that's really exciting. Okay, and in this next card, um, we have another sort of new cycle or a sort of a new gateway opening up. And this is in the area of 
energy and creativity and inspiration and passion. There's an element of like ego involvement here, but obviously not in a bad way. It's it's good to have a healthy ego and a sense of identity and, and purpose. So for some of you, this is going to be a new chapter in terms of fitness goals or health goals like maybe again it's like going on a yoga retreat or or um, uh, getting a yoga certification it could be uh, literally energy and uh, athleticism sports uh, you know energy in that way it could be creative and inspirational energy writing a book joining a writing class um, directing a play uh, directing an orchestra, something uh, creative. But whatever it is, it's something that has um, an inspirational value. It's uh, attached to your identity, attached to your purpose, and gives you a reason to get up uh, and go. It's somehow attached to this new cycle, this new, um, your own sort of innate wisdom. We're going to get to the world in a moment here, but look at all these circles. Look at all these gateways, these doorways in all these cards opening up. This is kind of this new, um, you know, you're going, I'll say it this way. It's sort of like, if you want to think of it as a doorway or a birth canal, a, a, sh a, a door opening, this is a kind of a new birth into a new role, and this comes up very specifically with the world. Every time I do tarot readings at uh, baby showers, this card comes up for the new mother because this is a new role, a completely new shift. Like you go from the, like the wisdom gained um, or being a single person only living for yourself changes when you have a baby and now when you become a parent you're your own it's a whole new role um, and there's new knowledge to be gained there's new wisdom to be gained there's a whole new experience the world looks at you differently you understand yourself differently you go through the world differently that's not to say that everybody who is listening to this is gonna have a baby um, but it speaks to that change in role. This could be a graduation. This could be retirement. This could be menopause. Um, some other significant role change, going back to work after having not worked for a while, um, going back to school after not having been in school for a while, something that gives you a significant like status role change where you understand yourself differently, where you go through the world with kind of a different viewpoint. And so with all of the other previous cards here, we see this kind of new opening, this kind of new doorway, this new role where the wisdom you have gained is in service. These new opportunities are, are going to be put to use, but ultimately it's, it's for this new place you have, this new role, this new uh, uh, life, milestone that's the word i'm looking for this new this new life role is like a, a milestone that you've hit and it comes with all new opportunities that you hadn't expected that you hadn't anticipated it's it's rich you're going to feel connected and needed and uh, and filled with purpose maybe even on a mission capricorn i hope hope you're excited. I hope this gives you some validation, some inspiration. In any case, thank you so much for dropping by. Until next time, take good care. Bye for now.